Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to match literal strings. In the last challenge, you searched for the word hello using a regular expression, hello. The regex searched it for a literal match of the string hello. Here's another example searching for a literal match of the string Kevin. Uh, the string test string is equal to hello, my name is Kevin. The test regex is equal to Kevin. Test, test regex dot test is string. This is exactly what happened on the last one. Any other forms of Kevin will not match. So for example, if uh, Kevin was spelt with a, with a capital K will not match a lowercase Kevin or a capitalized Kevin with everything. So wrong regex where they do a lowercase K, uh, this would return false. A future challenge will show how to match those other forms as well. Complete the regex, Waldo regex, to find Waldo in the string. Waldo is hiding with a literal match. Waldo search. Waldo is hiding in this text. Change this line. Waldo. Use regex should find Waldo. Your regex, Waldo regex, should not search for anything else. You should perform a literal string match with your regex. This is kind of weird. They're just asking us to do the same thing. So we want to change this line so that Waldo regex doc test uh, comes out to be true. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure exactly why they had us do that, but the idea here is that we're running a regex to test to find Waldo, and if we don't have the pronunciation or the capitalization correct, we get invalid tests. But when we get it right, then we have the literal match, which means it's the same as this guy. And that's why we're doing this. So it's kind of a repetition from last uh, exercise. Anyways, we run the tests and we see they pass. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.